I'm Muhammad Yunus. Uh, I'm from Bangladesh. Uh, I started the microcredit and uh, set up the bank called Grameen Bank or Village Bank. And then we grew all over the country. Uh, and now it has grown all over the world. It's uh, small loans given to poor women to start income generating activity. Became known as microcredit or microfinance. And another one is social business, a business which is done to solve problem rather than make money for oneself. So it's a non-dividend company to solve human problems. That's what I do. One way I try to explain poverty by drawing attention to uh, is a kind of analogy uh, with the bonsai tree. Bons the seed that you plant in a flower pot and let it grow. Uh, the seed may be of the seed of the tallest tree, biggest tree in the forest. But when you put it in the flower pot, it grows only this big and looks cute as exact replica of the beautiful, huge, big tree or tallest tree that you saw in the forest. Now it's growing in your flower pot. It's a cute little thing that you, and you keep it in your room. I said, poor people are bonsai people. There's nothing wrong with their seed. They, that seed could be as tall as anybody anywhere else. But you plant it in a flower pot. Society never gave them the space to grow like every other human being. That's what the poverty is, is a bonsai people. Poverty is unnecessary. And the more I see it, the more I'm convinced about it. And I've seen how easy it is to get out of poverty. So it makes me very angry when I see millions and billions of people remain in poverty still today. So it shouldn't take so much time. Once you make up our mind that nobody should be poor, it could be achieved in a very short time, in 20 years, in 25 years, whole world could be free from poverty if we make up our mind to do that. Like we set the goal, Millennium Development Goal, to bring the poverty by half, and it has happened. Bangladesh has achieved that. Not, they didn't have to wait for 2015, December. They achieved it middle of 2013, two and a half years before the target date. So it can be done. So if world sets that time that we are going to have a world free of poverty, it can be done. And I'm saying that then we should have poverty museums because there will be no poverty in the world. People will not even understand. The young people who never saw poverty, they will never understand. So we'll take them to the poverty museums to do that. So that's what I would like to do, that uh, uh, create a world without poverty. The word poverty will not mean anything to anybody because they don't understand what poverty is. Why should anybody be poor? Similarly, I would like to see the world without unemployment because that word unemployment doesn't mean anything. It's, it's not the fault of that person who is unemployed. Well, he or she is very capable of doing things and very energetic, very creative. But the society somehow said, you're useless. You're thrown into the basket. Why should I be thrown into the basket? It's my life. Who decided that? What, how can this framework, the economic framework, or economic uh, conceptual design can throw me out? So it's, how can they decide what I should be? How can they punish me? It's not the, the theoretical framework which punish human beings. It will be the human being which will punish the, human, uh, the uh, theoretical framework. It should be the other way around. So they unleash that energy so that everybody can be creating their own opportunities and doing their own things and so on, rather than wait in a job line. Everything, everything is designed according to the job line issue. That's what the education is all about. And that's what everything is all about. So I want to free the world from that idea and become entrepreneurs, become job creators, rather than job seekers and so on. So uh, naturally the world will be a place where everybody will know what to do. And they have a place, they have opportunities and go on. So I, we can create a world where word unemployment would be totally unknown. They will not even understand what unemployment means because it doesn't make any sense to them. And that's what the real world should be. But we made an artificial world where there is poverty, where is unemployment, where is deprivation, rejections, and so on and so forth. So that's what we can do, and I would love to do that.